Um, actually, um, I was watching this one movie. It's called The Little Mermaid, but like live action version. Mm-hmm. And also, I watched Wakanda Forever number two with my cousin. Mm-hmm. So those two movies really sparked the idea of this book. Period. I love it. How mm-hmm. would you describe the central theme or message of your book? And what do you hope readers take from it? Um, okay, so the theme would be revenge. A lot of characters are going through character development when it comes to revenge to uh, forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And what was the second question? Message you want um, the readers to get from, take from the book. The message is not let anger take over your heart. Mm. That is deep that you said that because I've been in plenty of situations that I let anger take over. Of course. Mm-hmm. Control your emotions, pretty much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you give us a brief overview of the story and introduce the main characters? Sure. So the main character, her name's Selena. Um, yep, she's a princess, and she just realized that her mother died because mermaids and sirens drowned her. Mm-hmm. And she was just trying to figure out why this happens. And it's just like five years after her mother's death, since grief goes up and down, which that's one of the themes, grief. Mm-hmm. So she's just trying to figure out like what happened, like the true um, deep-rooted problem of this whole situation. And um, well, I don't want to say too much because it's like a mystery. Right. So I read the book. What was the most challenging part of writing this novel and how did you overcome it? Um, the most challenging part was like not um for the book not being super similar to Wakanda Forever number two, since it's inspired by it. Uh-huh. So heavily. I was like, um, I don't want my book to be a copycat, obviously. So a way for me to co- overcome that is to just brainstorm a lot of ideas of like how the ending gonna be like and how like watching Wakanda Forever number two and how the ending is and mm-hmm. how I could, you know, make it a little similar, but obviously make it different. Got you. Are any of the characters or situation based on real experience or people in your life? Um, no, but some characters are actually named after family members, like Hawa, who is the Siren Queen, my favorite character, who is <laughs> named after my cousin. Um, what else? Rama, who is Selena's friend and also a princess, um, is named after my little sister. It's like one of my favorite names. So, yeah. Period. <laughs> what part of the story are you most excited for readers to discover and why? Um, probably, probably the introduction to Hawa, who I mentioned before is my favorite character. Mm-hmm. The reason why is that like, you can easily see her as a villain, but she's more like an anti-hero. And I don't want to explain why, because that was a spoiler. Right. But, you know, I just, I just love Hawa. <laughs> <laughs> How did you approach the process of creating your fictional world and making it real, feel real for your readers? Um, like my writing process? Yes. Oh, okay. So after I watched Wakanda Forever number two, The Little Mermaid cartoon and live action version, I just wrote a short paragraph about the book, like just just a little something, not too serious. And then I will brainstorm five chapters. And then once I feel okay with those, with the outlining of those chapters, I'll write those five chapters. And once I'm done writing it, I'll outline the next five chapters and write those chapters again. And honestly, it's like a cycle of outlining and writing at the same time. Right. Until I feel like I'm done with the whole book. Got you. What surprised you the most about the journey of writing and publishing your novel? Um, like for this book particular is probably one of my favorites because how 
complex and layered the characters are. Mm-hmm. Because in my old writing, when I was like, I don't know, 15, the characters were so simple and not human-like. But these characters are very more human-like and I actually see the growth of my writing, which I just think that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is awesome. Because it's like, you can go back and compare your first book to your recent book. And it's like, how old are you now? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, you're good. Um, Right now, I'm 20. So just go back to your first book and then compare it to now. It's like, oh, my God, I have grown a lot and my writing has gotten way better. So I know that feeling because yeah. I did that with my show. <laughs> <laughs> If you could give one piece of advice to other expiring authors, especially those working on their first book, what would it be? Um, I would say for writers in general to start small because that's what I did. Like I wrote short stories, then I gradually start writing novels. Mm-hmm. And for those who are just starting out their um, their book, I recommend watching a few movies so you can gain some inspiration from that. It doesn't have to be movies. It could be real life too, but right. for me, I like watching movies. So, Got you. And is it certain type of um, movies you focus on when you in that writing state of mind? Yeah. I mean, like when it comes to writing novels, um, the genres are fantasy, action, romance, a little bit in mystery. So I will try to watch some movies within the same genre. Got you. This is the last and final question. Do you have plans for a sequel or another book?